well, we knew it was coming and it is finally here. We have got a new kind of banner. People were saying it might be triple banners or whatever, but we knew there was going to be something because they would keep introducing new characters and it's kind of ridiculous if you have to wait over two years for a rerun of the character that you particularly want. Like, for example, Zhao here. If you're desperate for a Zhao, you just missed the banner that he was on, you might not see him again the way things are running for 18 months, which is a very long time for a new player to wait for a specific character that they're interested in. So let's go through what the Chronicled Wish actually is and how it works. Firstly, it uses the intertwined fates, the same as the limited uh, character banners. It has its own pity system, so it won't carry over from the limited banner system. And it has a fate point system, similar but different to the weapon banner. What this means is, so basically you go to 90 wishes and you then have a 50% chance of getting the character that you've selected or weapon that you've selected. If you select a character, you'll definitely get one of the characters but only 50% chance that it's the one you want, similarly for the weapon side of things. If you lose that 50-50 and get one of the other characters, then you've got a, a, a guarantee that the next time you will get the character you've selected, but because it's a fate point system, it won't carry over to the next Chronicle banner when that comes, which we don't know when that'll be. We don't even know how long the Chronicle banners will last for, although I'm hoping they will last for at least the whole of the patch that they're on. That would be good, uh, but who knows? So who is this good for and who is it not? Well, for example, in a future Chronicled Wish, not this one, I might use it. My girlfriend actually might use the, the current Chronicled banner, which is coming up in uh, a week or so's time because she desperately wants Klee and she missed Klee in the summer and who knows when she'll be back. It could be a very long time, but she really likes the character Klee and wants to, you know, use, she likes throwing bombs. She's, she's into the throwing bombs thing, let's put it that way. So she wants, to, she wants to get that character. So she basically needs 180 wishes to guarantee Klee on this Chronicle Wish. Um, hopefully she'll be able to get that. I'm actually very keen on getting a Dia constellation. I like Dia. I've always, I, I think she's actually, I quite like using her as, as a virgin Dia. The problem there is she doesn't have enough uptime on her skill. And I have her at C1 anyway, just through 50-50 losses. So if I could get her to C2, then that would give me sort of 18 seconds out of 20 seconds on her skill, which is, that that's pretty reasonable. That will do for a, you know, for a virgin uptime situation so i'm quite keen on that i may well use the chronicled wish to try and get that copy of deer because as a standard banner character it could be years and years before i actually lose my 50 50 to her hopefully not but it could be and that's exactly what it's good for it's good for getting that specific standard or limited but old character that you're otherwise gonna miss out on. For free to play people, however, I think unless there's a specific character that you're desperate for, you're actually much better off picking your limited banner characters on the, you know, the normal li limited banner, but picking them carefully because they have rated up, you know, uprated four stars. Whereas the Chronicled Wish, you'll get a four star every 10 wishes, of course, but it'll just be a standard banner four star, like any standard banner four star. So you could just end up with like, you know, 20 Ningguams and not a single cookie. Whereas if you pick a banner when cookie's on the banner and you also like the, the five star that's on that banner, that is a much safer bet for your limited supply of wishes. So I think that's, that's how it looks for me. I am very pleased that they've introduced it. I think it is a good thing for people who who want to sort of fill the holes in their roster. It is also a fairly obvious trap for people that are not going to be careful with uh, who and, and what they're wishing for. One of the things that is quite awesome about the Chronicled Wish banner though is that, for example, the one that's coming up, I might not actually have any interest in it from a character point of view, but there is a couple of things I am interested in. It has Hunter's Path, Tainari's signature weapon, and it has Beacon of the Reed Sea, which is Dia's signature weapon. Neither of which are on the standard banner, 
And because Tainari and Dia will never rerun on a limited banner, th their weapons have been completely unobtainable, despite the fact they're actually good weapons. In I mean, Hunter's Path is actually quite good for a few characters, and Beacon of the Reed Sea is a pretty good general stat stick. I mean, I'm not going to put my wishes into that, because actually I want to get C2 Nouvellet, and, you know, I don't have a unlimited supply of wishes by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, one of the things which I think is... I mean, this doesn't address this at all, unfortunately, but, you know, there are certain four-star characters that I... Uh, you know, I, I wish they came up more often. Like, I think Cookie is really, really handy for more or less any account, especially quite early game, but she maintains her value throughout the game. It's just that other characters become more valuable as well as the game progresses. So, yeah, but she doesn't come up that often on a banner, and as a pool of, you know, in the pool of standard banner characters, your chance of just picking up a random Cookie is pretty low. So... I, that is a bit of an issue and that is one I, I suppose that is offset by the fact that you get six four stars on rate up per patch cycle so it's obviously a lot quicker to churn through the the pool of uh, four star characters than it is with the five star characters where you get usually three and one new one per patch which is you know I mean, three plus a new one it, and there's a lot of five stars. I suppose what Chronicled Wish is enabling Hoyoverse to do is move away from having to rerun some of the older characters that don't make them as much money anyway because people aren't so keen on them, but some people are very keen on them. So it gives them uh, a way to enable players to get their hands on those limited availability characters that are older without impacting the sales on the newer banners. Quite a short video today because I just wanted to talk about uh, the new Chronicled Wish system because it, I feel it's one of the bigger changes that Hoyaverse have introduced. Although, and I, and I think it is a very good thing for the overall Genshin Impact ecosystem, I just, I don't think it's a game changer for most people. It's just a way for people to fill the holes from some of the older characters because that's one of the problems with the game is if you started playing right on day one then you know you had a chance to pick up a lot of these five and four stars when the pool of characters was much smaller and they reran much more regularly and you obviously still have them now whereas a player that you know started comparatively recently it's going to be very hard you might go for a very long time and not have a copy of Mona and really want a copy of Mona for whatever reason. And now you have a vehicle to actually get that without having to just stick tens of thousands of dollars into the standard banner, which I don't think anyone should be doing, by the way. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, because that'd be awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.